And we are back once again doing the Torch News Roundup. I'm your host, Johnny Torch. Thank you one and all for tuning in. We're on the eve of Star Wars Celebration in San Diego's Comic-Con, so like the past few weeks, not a whole lot of big news out there. But there's still a few things left to talk about, so here we go. John Barrowman has signed a contract as series regular across all DCCW shows. He becomes the second actor with that contract. The first being Wentworth Miller's Captain Cold. It's probably the best move for Barrowman. His Malcolm Merlin has gotten beyond stale over on Arrow. It'll be interesting to see what they can cook up for him, and if this will restore the character's integrity as a legitimate threat in the DCCW-verse. Well, it looks like Fox has killed the proposed series Hellfire, based on the X-Men Hellfire Club characters. In its place, they're committing to a pilot which, according to Variety, is described as an action-adventure series focusing on two ordinary parents who discover their children possess mutant powers. Forced to go on the run from a hostile government, the family joins up with an underground network of mutants and must fight to survive. Eh, sounds to me like a pass. To be honest, Hellfire Club was the only concept to pique my interest of these proposed X-Men TV shows. At least it had some potentially familiar characters from the comics involved. The unnamed series is to be written by Matt Nix. The question remains what Marvel is getting in return for giving Fox these TV rights. Hmm... Supergirl has found a new boss. Ian Gomez has been brought in to play Snapper Carr. Cat Grant's replacement, at least to some extent. I'm not used to Snapper being this old, but if he can still snap his fingers, I'll be satisfied. Entertainment Weekly described him as a headstrong, sharp-witted newsman hired by Cat Grant to be the editor-in-chief of Catco magazine. Snapper's commitment to hard-hitting journalism pushes Catco reporters to dig deeper in the pursuit of excellence. He's a man who tells people what he thinks of them, and his no-holds-barred approach pushes Kara in unexpected ways. It looks like Floriana Lima has been cast as Maggie Sawyer for Season 2 of Supergirl as well. Her character is described as a detective for the National City Police Department who takes a special interest in the cases involving aliens. No word yet if Dan Turpin will arrive in National City anytime soon. It looks like Supergirl will be getting her own action figure based on the Melissa Benoist series. I know what I'm asking Santa for this Christmas. The new wave of DC action figures will include Dark Knight Returns Batman, Carrie Kelly Robin, and Mutant Leader a doomsday version of Superman, and a bald Lex Luthor based on Jesse Eisenberg's Batman v Superman. Each figure will include a part for you to collect and build your own doomsday figure. And finally, we have the new pictures of Kid Flash in Season 3 of The Flash. I'd have to say the costume looks pretty darn good. I'm glad they went with a classic look. There was always a danger it might look a little too much like Reverse Flash in live action, but I think it looks unique enough. My biggest fear is that both Wally and Jesse are only going to have their powers during the Flashpoint Paradox portion of the season, and not have ongoing roles as superheroes. At the same time, having three heroic speedsters on the show does kind of feel redundant. Unless they intend to farm them out to Legends of Tomorrow, I can't really see Wally and Jesse keeping their powers for long. I'm guessing with Barry powerless in the Flashpoint Paradox, Kid Flash will be the Flash in this new timeline. That's all we have for you this time. And wait... Hold on a minute. This just in. We have some leaked set photos from The Flash involving Kid Flash taking on what will be potentially this season's villain. No word on whether or not that's Tom Felton in the costume or just who this new villain might be. The prevalent theory seems to be that it's Black Racer, another Speed Force spook, if you will. Or it just may be the rebooted Timelines version of Reverse Flash. We'll just have to wait and see. I want to direct you to my Twitter page. You can find the link below in the description and vote in the poll of the week. This week, the question is, which movie are you most looking forward to in the second half of 2016? Star Trek Beyond, Suicide Squad, Doctor Strange, or Rogue One? I'll announce the results on the next news roundup. Thank you once again for watching. I'm up to 20 subscribers now on YouTube, so thank you so much for that. And as always, this is Johnny Torch reminding you, keep the flame burning brightly, and I'll be with you again real soon.